Hello everyone, this is Cypherdeck, and today I'm playing Bregas and Project 1999. I'm here with my friends, ZKP99. What's, what's going on, YouTube? ZK here. And we also have AC Gamer. Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode. Dark Dragon. Yo, everybody. And also, Locane Gaming, somewhere in the zone, doing his own thing. <laughs> So, yeah, I'm killing gnolls and stuff. So we're here in High Keep, as, or High Pass, and we are killing the orcs successfully with a level 14 Shadow Knight. <laughs> and an <laughs> overpowered, uh, overtwinked um, monk. <laughs> yep, for sure, man. We're, we're kicking these orcs' butts, man. So um, we were talking about... Uh, the changes that have happened to the server uh, of course uh, it's very prevalent if you go to North Karana and West Karana now that it is green and, also South Karana oh South Karana hasn't um, been affected as much because I haven't seen any of the green there but oh, okay um, so mobs are spawning the rabid what's going on with that ZK why why are we having those issues the re the reason that is because every time this like I remember it back on live when the sleeper gets awoken, uh, Bertoculus uh, rains over the Kinaranas and spreads uh, terror over them, and uh, it, it's a small little event, but uh, it can be dangerous. I don't know exactly how to finish it or how it works exactly, but I know that the farmers and the bandits and stuff there are shouting, uh, "Fear the fear something of Bertoculus or something like that," and it and it's. It's pretty crazy, and uh, it's well, something I've never... I, I know for a fact that um, at some point during the event, if it's ever kicked off, Bertoxulus will actually fly over the Karanas and randomly kill people. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I remember that on live, man. Um, was... But so the guild that actually uh, woke the sleeper was Rampage. Yep. And they are now disbanding, apparently. Yeah, so it's so you guys were saying that they literally did this knowing that they were going to quit the game. They were ready to leave the game as a guild, move on to uh, bigger and better stuff in their mind, and their last act in a game that they spent you know years playing probably to get to the point where they were at was to basically mess over the entire server. <laughs> as what I, I don't get it. I mean, it just seems very spiteful for something that they at least at one point cared quite a bit about. Exactly. Yeah, I, for they sure. I, I, what they did was they basically there's these up and coming guilds like Anonymous, there's uh, Blackheart Pirates, there's Kittens Who Save Me, Up, there's all these other great guilds that eventually will one day dream of getting into Sleeper's Tomb. And you basically guys, you guys ruined it for the, uh, the up and coming guilds that, that dream of going in there, man. And you should be ashamed. You really should. Yeah, because there's really no reason behind it. I mean, what kind of like there's what is it? Is it, they just wanted to troll people? Is that what it is? I, I have no idea, man. They, they did it just to be dicks. Yeah, that's exactly what it sounds like. They they pretty much um in in the way that I've heard it is that they wanted to make sure that Forsaken was not able to become the most powerful guild on in the game, and the way you become the most powerful is by having all the loot from the warders in Sleeper's uh, Tomb. And now that there's uh, most of the keys, by the way, were held by Rampage, now that they're not um, going to be in the game anymore as a guild rating, they, they, pretty, much, um, they pretty much relinquished any ability to continue getting... Which like, one are, the which one are you on? Yeah, Zlandi Car and, and what that is, is what he's talking about is a Zlandi Car Heart. It's pretty much the better than a Necro Epic. Um, yeah. It has a regen on it and all these different stats. Um, it's pretty much best in thought for Necromancers. But if yeah. you're leaving the game, you're going to quit it, you're going to move on to other stuff. What do you care if they're the biggest Regus. ones on the server? Medic. Uh, I am on the Medic. So am I. I don't know what you're talking about, yeah. man. Um, I but I wasn't. Um, so the um, the plague that's happening now cannot be continued because of the fact that they're leaving. Only 
um, a guild that was able to, um, as big as them, to be able to have that many keys, w was able to continue the Bertoculus um, um, uh, event, uh, as what I remember. And now that they're not going to be staying, it becomes null because Bertoculus Bertoxul will not spawn to continue the event. And uh, unless Forsaken decides that they want to do it, and that would be weird to do that because of the fact that they didn't <laughs> stop the event. Yeah. So it's um, it's going to be different. Now, if the GMs decide that they want to go ahead and backtrack because of the fact that um, uh, it was pretty much... Blatant, Premeditated. Yeah. <laughs> then... Then that would be uh, that'd be cool because the fact of yeah there are guilds that will be growing up into those ranks and wanting to be able to at least take part in some of those loot uh, tables and it's kind of sad that those items are not going to be dropping but yeah. on live I remember that uh, the scepter of destruction went from being a hundred and ten k to being over a million uh, plat in a day of the sleeper being um, awoken. Yeah, because it, it was the because last it, day it, it dropped. So yeah, because it doesn't drop anymore, man, and it's yep. tradable. So yeah, yeah, and yeah, it's still it. wieldable. <laughs> That's yep. the other thing is, and you see um, a rampage uh, warrior in um, East Common. That's all he does now is just sit there, and he holds that scepter of destruction. Thanks, guys. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> yeah that, that seems messed up. It has to be a tough call, though, for the GMs, though, trying to decide whether they should undo that or not, or even if they have the ability to undo it is uh, is another question. But I don't know. It just seems like because it was so premeditated in, in a matter that is basically just vicious. You know, like if you have a guild yeah, that goes into a raid zone. Everybody and, on the server. Well, yeah, but that that's one thing. But I'm just saying, like, if you go into a raid zone and you train uh, another raid, another uh, guild, like that is is not uh, acceptable. They will undo that, or maybe not undo it, but they punish the other guild for something. It seems only fair that uh, if if they're not going to undo it, then maybe punish the other guild for being that uh, that vicious and take the keys from them and give it to another guild that can undo it. You know, or at least uh, progress the, the the you know quest line like you were saying. Right. Yeah, for sure. Um, I feel that uh, because of the fact that it took, what, five years for Vilius to come out, that they should have not even been able to waken the sleeper. I think yeah. they should have locked that down um, to keep that from happening. because It wouldn't have been classic, though. Well, that doesn't matter here because of the fact that we are on a five-year schedule for each, uh, for each expansion. And so, if we go on that timeline, it should have been at least two years before the sleeper was awoken. There's no one there with the capacity of the guild or, or of the server. There is no way that that sleeper will ever be killed. It's not meant to be killed, but um, still, it's it's going to be it's going to hinder There's the rest of the game for the the duration of the time P99 is around if they so, don't. So you can kill the sleeper then is what you're saying and that resets you, it. It is you can't. Yeah. It is well, possible to kill the sleeper. More people than it, P99 has. How many it, people it, do you need? It, it, it's basically impossible to kill it on P99. I remember on live that it it, it took them uh, there was three guilds on live <clears throat> uh, that it was the plan of Pal planes of power expansion when they killed him. I yeah. mean, it, it took that long that it took that long to kill him. I mean, you can't kill him on P99. Literally a max tank Invelius with best inside everything has like six thousand five hundred health. I mean, and he quad and he hits you for six thousand. I mean, if he hits you for six thousand twice, you're done. You're, you're gonna your tank is gonna be yeah. get, go down. Plus, he death touches on top of that. You're you're pretty well. Your raid will be whole done. Your raid will be done. I mean, he'll just one shot your tanks nonstop left and right. Yep. And if you if you don't have a tank that can hold them for more than a second or ten seconds for complete heal, then um, <laughs> it's pretty we much need like six, seven thousand people to kill him right now. Yeah, yeah, and the zone would crash on that. Probably the server as well. So yeah, yeah. yeah. 
I and mean, he all literally those people would have to have the best gear in the game. Yeah, he literally has like play. 700 million gazillion health. Man, I mean, he, he regens like a million HP per tick. Man, it's just crazy. But it, I mean, if you said, that video, you got you got to check out my video, man. I mean, you'll see what I'm talking about, AC. Oh yeah, yeah, I'll definitely check it out. I, I checked out a lot of your other ones. I watched the one where you guys were over in, uh, in uh, what was it, uh, North North Row or whatever, South Row, where you guys were killing the dervish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> But I'm talking about yeah, the the video before that is like he just destroys the zone, wrecks everybody, and then just goes and kills the dragon that's up there in Sky Shrine. Right. And he, yeah. He literally kills him in like two hits, three hits, four hits, something like that. That is uh, that's if, something if, else, man. If we could have Bertoxilus tank for us, we would still lose. Yeah, I don't know what they can do to that uh, other than hey, it just seems so petty, so petty to do that yeah. in the first place. Oh, it was. You know, and uh, yeah, it's a game. It's it's pixels. It's a, it's an Elsim. You can call it whatever you want. But a lot of people find a lot of enjoyment out of this game. You know, and they come here for the groups. They come here for the the, uh, the community, and they come here for the game itself. And then to take something that people enjoy and just kind of basically what they did was they spit on it. You know, they're just like, yeah. I don't care what you like. I'm just gonna break it down because. I'm leaving, and once I leave, who cares what happens to it, basically? And right. That that's that sucks, man. Like, why? That just ugh. I remember on EQ. I remember on EQ Mac. Uh, the there was an agreement between Guilds of the Sleeper wanted to be woken, and literally like ten years on EQ Mac, the Sleeper was never woken, and then a Guild comes in there and and wakes the Sleeper, and basically blo uh, steps all over that agreement, and then they just do whatever they want, and then they leave. Well, see, it's, it's, it's one thing to go in there and, and wake the sleeper if you actually mean to do something with it. But if you're going to do it like they did it, which is basically like, we're leaving the game, here's uh, an, an FU on the way out, I'll give you the bird, and you have no intention of doing it, that just, you know, like I said, it's just very spiteful, very vindictive for no other reason other than, oh, we can do it, we no longer care what happens um, to any of you guys. Side. Logan, why are you giving me that stuff? I can't even wear it. Oh, okay, I thought you could. My bad. Uh, I'll I'll give it to Velaz. Maybe he'll he'll have something. That you can. Nope. Anything that you don't want, just destroy it or whatever. Yeah, I don't want any of that. Well, screw you too. Ah, <laughs> thank you though, man. I do appreciate the offer, but what did, what did he offer you? Ah, uh, it's like banded bracers and crap stuff. Uh, it wasn't. Yeah. It's not crap stuff, man. Hey, it's good for some people. Bards can wear banded. Yeah, uh, I'm kind of bard. I'm not All the right race. Oh, what size was it? Large. Oh. No, that, that was a normal banded. Oh, well, I tried to wear all of it, and they wouldn't let me wear any of it. Normal? You should have been able to wear a normal banded. <clears throat> well, like I said, so, I tried to wear all of it, and it wouldn't let me wear it. It said your race or class mm. is right. So for people who don't know very much about the sleeper and they're coming into the game for the very first time, uh, what did they need to be aware of? What do they need to avoid now that he's uh, he's awake? Well, he one shot he, zones. Yeah, he one shot zones. He will. He he's probably still up in Roman around somewhere. I mean, you got to be on the lookout at all times. I mean, he he just goes to zone to zone, wrecking everything. He'll he destroys er everything in a couple hits. I mean, if you're a, 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 a really sweet dragon like Lord Nagafin or Lady Vox, whatever you, you, they're gonna die in a couple hits. I mean, he's he's that that he's that badass of a dragon, man. And he's the but, biggest dragon in the game. Yeah, he's so cute. But he travels from one zone to the other, so like if you'll be able to hear from the zone over, hey, he's coming, get out of here. Yeah, yeah. for sure. Uh, yeah, so he you just have to travel watch. like that. I thought he did. I thought he went from like one zone that connected to it to the next zone that connected to it. Not or does he hop always. over from continent can, to continent he without... Can uh, hop, he can hop to any zone at any time. It doesn't have to be adjacent. Well, then, yeah, then uh, you're pretty much well, SOL on that one. was that way. I don't know about on here. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you you just just always be on the lookout, guys. I mean, you never really know. <laughs> yeah, but on the lookout for what? Like, once he shows up, you're dead, right? There's no getting out of that. <laughs> <Pretty> <laughs> it's like the Grim Reaper. He's there. Oh, great. Where am I going to go, you know? <laughs> right? It's yeah, just me, it, guys. It's one of those, you know he's there because you have a loading screen. 
right? Yep. And he and he does hit you for like thirty two hundred or thirty two uh three hundred twenty thousand damage on on the death touch, man. It's three hundred twenty thousand <laughs> damage. It's crazy, man. Talk about overkill, man. Yep. It just literally one shot everybody. Which is sad that um, probably one group could kill the sleeper now on live if they are all level one hundred and five. Yeah, but have yeah. you seen the stuff that's, like, the armor that drops? It's like EverQuest 2. You know, I go back and I play that one every so often, and the armor on that is so ridiculous. You get yeah. a thousand-something <laughs> strength and, you know, yeah. 10,000 on stamina. I'm like, geez, like, one item in that game is better than all the items that every player has yep. in this entire server. For sure. Oh, yeah. I, my um, my necromancer, who is 95, had over 100,000 hit points. But yeah. I rated also. Yeah. So, <laughs> But still, it, yeah, they, they've they gone absolutely nuts on those, uh, on, on making the game so overpowered in, as far as the characters that they've had to make the zones even harder to the point that it's you can't solo anymore. Unless you're a Shadow Knight with a healer. Well, I mean, you make the, the new zones. So. You make the new zone. Well, it is because they got mercenaries. But you it's, make the new zones difficult. But all the old zones basically become garbage because they're yeah. so easy. And I, I think that, that kind of concept, that kind of uh, tradition of outdoing yourself again and again and again and again leads to basically destroying all the hard work you put into the early stuff that you made. Oh, and that's yeah. just a shame. Like you need to be able to, you know, add on to the game without overpowering everything that came before. And I don't think they've kind of realized how to do that just yet. Yeah, no. and also also Necros can't even solo on live anymore. I'm sorry? You're saying Necros can't even solo on live anymore? I didn't say that. I said that I have eighty eight hundred thousand to a hundred thousand hit points on Oh, you, ever you just quest said too. That you can't solo on live unless you're a shadow knight with a healer. Yeah, well, at uh, level 105, the mobs <clears throat> hit so hard that it's going to take you probably about three minutes to kill them, and then you are probably going to die because even a mercenary J5 can't keep you alive. That sucks. Yeah. Okay, and also I want to uh, take a note that uh, if you're in the Karanas and it there's a griffin or whatever. The rabbit? All that, Yeah, there's rabbit. There's Now that the plague is over there, there are rabid creatures, like a rabid griffin, and they have way more health and, way, and they do way more damage. Oh, yeah. And um, also the swarmlings are out now. Uh, they're tiny, they're low level, but still <laughs> you can get a lot of, on them, on you pretty fast. There's also, also on that note, there's also the Swarm Mother. She's a named, I don't know what she drops, I've never seen her yet, but I'm yeah. going to keep my eye out for her. So with with all the negatives that obviously come with a sleeper, what are, if any, the positives that might come out of this? Is anything new dropping because of it? Anything? Well, there uh, is a, there, there is a quest that like, uh, like I suppose, I read up on it. That the wiki, uh, it's not in the game yet, but I read up on the wiki after the sleepers awoken. There's a, a prismatic uh, scale that drops from the sleeper. Like when he runs around, you could, I think, if you pick it up on the ground, it's a prismatic scale or something. And if you hand that in, and with your sleeper key, you get a, you get a, a certain, a special primal weapon that you can't get in sleepers and a, oh, nice. and, a, a different, different, uh, different uh, earrings and stuff. That has really nice stats. That's kind of cool. Uh, How do you get that? You pick something, she drops up. Yeah, uh, but it's not yeah, in the game it's yet. It's just a scale that randomly drops off onto the ground. When is yeah. when is that supposed to enter the game? I I don't know, man. Huh. Well, this would actually be the perfect time for the the staff to go ahead and come up with that progression server they were talking about for a long time, and that way guilds would be able to go back. You know, it would take a couple years before we got to that point again, but wait until Velius got out. They could go in there and get the keys. They could gear up and maybe, uh, you know, get the items that they're really wanting to. And then when the servers merged, uh, you know, they, of course, would lose that option. But um, at least, uh, you know, the hardcore raiders would still have that option, you know, if they yeah. get that. Yeah, yeah. there's always there's always that option. Yeah, and what they're thinking about the calling that server is uh, P99 Green, the green server. You know, there's red, blue, and, they're, and then they're going to make green. And pearl. So, yeah. 
What's the purple one supposed oh, to be? Purple, it's going to be fun. Um, it is going to be classic PvP, meaning that when you die, you can anything can be looted from you. Yeah, one item, though, right? One item? No, no, no. no. No, no, all no. of it. <laughs> all of yeah. that? That wasn't classic, was it? I and thought it was one item and the it's, money. It's a server oh, that they're classic. gonna reset every few uh, months, and uh, there's gonna be later boards, and pretty oh, much you okay. have one so life. Classic. You have one life. Oh, uh, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, they were talking about that on uh, on his podcast, Zerkin's podcast. Yeah, yeah. It's, uh, uh, the dis hardcore. Discord. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. The Discord server, but it's gonna be. It, I think in, I read on the forums that they're thinking about renaming it and stuff like like they're. I don't know. There there's gonna be a lot of changes to be coming for P ninety nine. I mean, they're gonna come out with new servers eventually and all that, man. So I, I think mean, they I think they need to be very very careful with how many servers they come out with how quickly yeah. because the community is pretty small as it is, and if you start spreading them out onto multiple servers. You're going to make it even smaller, and that could cause people to leave because they can't find groups, they can't uh, ever put a, g a guild raid together or anything like that. So yep. it's the same thing yep. uh, Sony, they did way back when too, is they came up with a lot of servers because they had a lot of people on, and eventually they had to start merging those servers together just to keep the population at a sustainable level. And yep. you see it with EverQuest 2 right now. They used to have, like, what, 60, 70 servers at one time? Oh, I think yeah. they're down to, like, three. Yep. You know, like, that game is... I hate to say it because I liked EverQuest 2. I still go back and play it myself, but it's pretty much dead. Like it, It's yeah. not going to have the sustainability that EverQuest 1 has. I think it's just going to be gone. And If you ask me, um, EverQuest 2 was the best when it <coughs> first came out, before all the changes kind of dumped yeah, out. Yeah, I, I agree. Oh, yeah. I've heard, that, that's the EverQuest 2 that I played, man. Yeah. It was more like EverQuest 1, which, you know, of course... We're going to say because that's what we're playing. That's what we enjoy. Right. You know, we're fanboys of that. But uh, it was a little harder. And I like my games harder. I don't like yeah. easy mode on everything that I play. I mean, I do like those games at some point, you know, just to kind of relax and jump onto. But when it comes down to a game that I'm going to be spending months, if not years, playing, I want that hardcore mode. Just not uh, not in a spiteful way. So if you're thinking about, you know, hardcore mode, oh, the dragon's awake, he's walking around, you know, just swiping zones, you should love that. Yeah, I would love that if it happened <laughs> in, a, in a respectful <laughs> way that actually makes yeah. sense. Right. But it, it, it didn't happen in that way. It happened in some stupid, you know, let me just uh, ruin everybody else's day because, you know? Yeah. Yeah, sure. Well, whenever, whenever um, EverQuest 2 came out, the thing that I really loved was the crafting. You had to actually kill wolves to get their saliva for different potions that you wanted to make, and you had to um, hunt dive. for the things that you needed. And then they turned everything into a click this, get this randomly item, and then uh, you move on to the other. And Yeah. I, I miss those days of uh, those first few six months that you were able to um, do that hardcore crafting. And then whenever it went away, I was like, wow, all of a sudden I, there's a lot of people here. Yeah. Yeah, I remember you had to uh, you had to run everywhere and you used your, your little, uh, you know, power to do so to give you that little extra boost. And now everybody has like mounts and yep. yeah, they're great. They're fun. But, again, I like the fact that it slows the game down. And one of the things that I think a lot of the new games really don't realize is when you slow the game down, you I'm give blinded. people... Oh, you're good. Uh, you give people a little bit more time to be forced into talking to other players. And EverQuest 2 right now, as it is, you almost never see anybody because people can teleport around so quickly and so easily. And oh, even, yeah. if you, even if you do see people... They're gone. Boom. They're, they're going like speed lightning across the zone. And, they, you know, they're doing whatever they're doing. But yep. if you slow it down and, like, say you're making the run from uh, from the town to, like, the docks or something like that, you may be running with a pack of three, four, five, six people all in a general area going the exact same path because it's the safest. There's mobs in the way. And, you know, if you're if you're there long enough, uh, I don't need those. I can't, I can't do that yet. You can, you can sell them, though, if you want it. Uh, but thank you. But yeah, if you're there oh, long sure. enough, eventually, eventually you'll send people a tell and be like, "Hey, can I get a so? Can I can I join you? Can we, where are you going? Are you going to be fighting that creature?" And before long, you had a group going. But yeah. it's only when you force players to do that that you really start seeing those connections made, and it's those connections that make people want to come back to the game more often. Oh yeah, 
Um, I like uh, like you do, and like I want to do. I would I want to play uh, Request Two, but in a classic style, so that you can actually see the zones. Blackbird uh, was one of those things that nowadays is just completely overlooked. Uh, but it was one of the be uh, better places to go to get experience whenever um, I started the game. Yeah, or Befallen. Befallen, uh, they had, oh man, I remember going in there and people just dying left and right. Oh, yeah. You had to go in, and there was that little sword that you could click on and you could get part of the, uh, do you remember, what were the name of it? Were the legendaries or, I forgot what the name of the quest were, the heritage, the heritage quest. Yeah. Blind. Those were fantastic. Those were just amazing things to do. And then you could put them in your room, and that was like a new concept because in EverQuest 1, they kind of always hinted at, oh, well, one day we're going to add guild halls. One day we're going to give you rooms that you can put stuff into to store stuff and just have like this area. They never quite did it. Uh, I guess maybe they did it uh, eventually down the road with all the new expansions, but they definitely integrated it into EverQuest 2. Yes. And EverQuest 2 was just a, a new experience. Like, they didn't give you a lot of stuff. Nowadays, in EverQuest 2, holy crap, man. You're going to get so many things to go into your house yep. that you literally will not have enough space for. In fact, at some point in there, you uh, you got so much stuff that they started giving you free housing with giant freaking house. You yeah. know, like, it used to be one little tiny room, and you had to just find space for everything. Now, it's a mansion, literally, like a mansion. The size of this zone times that by, like, 10... That's the size of your house. Yeah, it's nuts. I, I remember when, uh, the new quest. Uh, you go and you uh, meet this guy, and you get your your little shack of a house. And uh, I remember the first time I was able to buy a house that was on um, in one of the bigger areas. I was, I was proud, and I, I uh, spent a good day just moving into that house and putting things where I wanted it to. And, yeah. um, and nowadays everything is so big and a lot of those houses are already auto populated with certain items. And, um, I, I would rather just have my old shack back <laughs> to be honest, or my four bedroom house that I ended up getting later. Yeah. Yeah. The very first time I got a house in that one, it was actually me and three friends went together with all the money that we had at the time to buy a house because what we were planning on doing was putting those tables where you could craft in there yeah because they would all always be taken and if you had multiple people on a table it could mess up your recipe nowadays it doesn't do that anymore but uh if, if they messed up their recipe while you were you know cooking on the same thing it could mess up yours and you would get hurt and you know things would just go badly so you wanted your own table plus you didn't want the lag that came with being inside that zone yeah so that's why we we got together and we all bought a house uh, and put our stuff in there. That was a freaking like I remember, like you said, it was a it was a big day. It was a big, um, you know, moment in the game that we all had to uh, agree. Like, which house do we want? Do we, do we a, like this I'm layout? And I'm gonna go boss. check my faction. I'm gonna go check my faction right quick. All right, all right, man. Yeah, we did get the named again, but it's the same guy who has that that stupid little thing that nobody wants. Unfortunately, <laughs> yeah. we're not getting the good one. But I think, yeah, again, that's that's the thing that they're missing with not just EverQuest and the, the future ones, but they're missing it with all the MMOs, it seems like, is just slowing it down. Like, it's too fast. And an MMO that you're going to be spending a lot of time on can't be like a single-player campaign mode. Well, they're trying to copy WoW, I think, is what it is. And no, WoW... They're, they're trying to balance it so that people that just started the game have a chance to catch up to the people at Endgame so they can all play together. But, but see, that's not... Th that, then you fast-forward through all the good stuff. But exactly. What, but what you're seeing, though, is that if if, if, um, if the GMs or the creators of EverQuest, if there's going to be a third EverQuest that comes out, they need to look at this server and see people really like the classic style that they came out with originally, but it's not Varent who who's holding it now. It's Daybreak, and so uh, who knows what they'll end up doing with the with the game. Also, with that being said, uh, I I was watching Dale in Seventy Five Games recent video that he did and uh, on EverQuest, and he was talking about EverQuest next, and he said that they fired a lot more people, and 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 it doesn't look like that they're going to be doing it. No, that's not going to happen. I've read a. Uh, 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 
newspaper thing saying that they were giving up on it. Yep, it's over. Is it really? It is. Yeah. Well, you know, I love Sony. I absolutely do love the games. They, they, it was. I was sad to see them actually sell yeah. Sony online because, it, like, Dell in 75 seconds, I watched that exact same episode. You know, they had always been around. They They were the first MMO that I really got into, that I really started playing on, on a hardcore level. And uh, they just kind of had that special place in my mind because of that. And when they when they kind of got out of the game, I was like, oh, man, that that's like a big, big monumental thing that happened for, for me anyways. And it just kind of sucked to see them go. But, yeah, I guess, uh, you know, I didn't really like the direction they were going with EverQuest next. I was willing to give it a shot because they had done just phenomenal on – pretty much every other game that I've ever liked that they, they came up with. Right. But, you know, it just, uh, I didn't, I don't like the easy stuff as much as I used to. I, I know, yeah. you know, with my brother, uh, you know, he has kids and, you know, he's, uh, my nephew's pretty young and, you know, when he's getting into games, they need those easy games to kind of like learn how to use the remote and learn how to jump and get their, you know, coordination down and all that other stuff that, you know, when I was younger, I needed those games as well. So there's a place for them. I'm not saying there's not. Yeah. I'm just saying, like, as you get older, invite some of us... Invite the 17 and Chandler. He's looking for a group. Can will we get experience? Yeah, yeah, we yeah. should. Uh, I, I don't think... Aonan's right. back trying to peel from the other side. Yeah, but yeah also, with... also, I, uh, 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 I read, uh, on, or I watched that same episode you're talking about, man, and, and I, from what he was saying, and also from what I've read, that they fired the guy that, like, when this game, when EverQuest Live or EQ One first came out, uh, the guy that originally put it, like tried to sell it to people and stuff, like, and made all the pro- the the tribute videos and stuff, like when you go to the, a website and you see like a trailer video and stuff, he they fired that guy that made all that stuff for EverQuest Next, man, and he was the original guy too. So, I mean, they they fired that guy and he's he's so. EverQuest Next is pretty well done. Well, I mean, yeah. there's always stuff that goes on behind the scenes that you'll never hear about, that you never know about. Like, maybe that was a good reason they did that. But one of the things you'll see when a company takes over another company is they routinely just get rid of anybody who had anything to do with the old company. So that's yeah. not too beyond the realm of, like, you know, possibilities of what they were going to do. That was kind of almost a given. Uh, it's actually pretty rare when they keep somebody like that. But I, I still wish them the best. I still wish that they will uh, at some point maybe finish that game or a variation to that theme, use that same engine or that same codex to uh, to make a different game in the future. Because to, it is... To ahead. be honest, I really was not even wanting that game. I, I, I was looking at it and all I saw was... Okay. <laughs> wow. Yeah, uh, but I mean, if they make money off of that, even in a small way then they're more yep. likely to produce the next one, and the next one is maybe what I'm going to be excited about. But, right. but, check, but check this out, AC. I mean, what you're, trying to, what you're saying is if they sell that game, basically they fired the game that literally put it in markets and tried to sell it for, for the, the, the fans and stuff, man. I mean, they fired that guy, man. I mean, the, the same guy that sold EverQuest 1 and sold EverQuest 2 and stuff like that and, and, and helped advertise it and stuff like that, man. I mean... What what else are they gonna do? I mean, if if they don't have if they don't have a good uh, telemarketer team and stuff so, or and stuff like that, how are they gonna sell that game if if they don't? Well, that's what I'm saying. I don't think they will sell that game. I think they will, at some point, probably use the same engine because it's it, that game. It, like I was just playing Fallout 4 the, just uh, earlier today, actually, because I love that freaking game. That game is amazing, and I heard that that game uses the same engine of um, Skyrim. It does. You know, and so yeah. if they created an engine, which they did, they created a, a really, really powerful engine that's able to kind of destroy the earth and reshape things. And, uh, you know, what you do in one zone affects another zone. And if you kill orcs over here, uh, you can annihilate them from the map and they eventually try to come back and you can, you know, stop them from doing that. If you kill one creature, another one kind of takes its place. Uh, if you can do something like that and create an engine, like that it could be you know somewhat easily incorporated into another game that looks vastly different from that one but still reacts the same way and they can make back some of that money that they lost and when they make that money back they're more inclined to go ahead and say hey why don't we give making another everquest down the road 
a shot. You know, instead of just being yeah. like, oh, we lost all that money. We're never making another one. It was a big debacle, and that, that's the end of it, you know? Yeah, yeah. I, I, I agree, man. I, I was just saying what, what, what the current news is saying about EverQuest next, and, and from what I've read and, and what other people are saying and all that. So I, 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 I'm 90% sure that they're not going to, it's not going to come out, and yeah. they're pretty well done with it. I never understood the logic of buying a company and then getting rid of the people in that company. Because the reason you buy a company is because you like. No, there, no, no. There's, there's, there's a lot reason. of reasons. There's a lot of reasons for buying a company. You want the name. You want to get rid of the competition. You know, there's, there's yeah. a lot. They have the copyrights to a lot of the stuff you need. They have yeah, ideas, and there's yeah. a reason that they made it so that, um, so that they can um, uh, repurpose it into whatever they want to do with it. Yeah. So they end also, up getting rid of the old people so that they can uh, bring in their people to do the same thing at a lower cost. We're going a completely different direction. If you got people who are – like if you brought me into a game company, I have very strong ideals of what I like in games. Right. I might not be what they want. They may want to go in a completely different direction. And yeah, I could possibly maybe accept some of the stuff they want, but my mind would always kind of naturally go back – to uh, you know what I think is is the way to go, and sometimes you just have to get rid of those people to actually physically move in another direction easily and effectively, and you know that's what they were doing maybe. So yeah, yeah. Uh, who can knows? I interrupt? Go ahead. On that note, okay, so, um, go ahead. Okay, since we're on the note of like um, you know inventing like video games and you know companies, I just I've been chilling on the forums for a little bit. Not gonna lie, and I found some interesting things that I think a lot of people that are new and even veterans would love to know. There are two new web pages, but I'm not sure if any of the you know admins have seen this post yet. But they have p99auctions.com, which actually tells you on um, like if you search an item like the crystalline short sword, it will tell you. Um, the most recent post in the auction chat and how much they're selling it for. And there's also um, Project LFG. I think it's, that is so stupid. I no was just, Well, yeah, I was just going to, you know, yeah, tell but, people about it. Yeah, well, it, it's just my idea on it is you're going outside of the game to look for a group when you could just be, hey, man, I'm looking for group. Well, in the in the game, you can only look for group in the zone. In that thing, you can look for a group everywhere. Actually, no, that's not necessarily true. I mean, you could type who all enchanter, who all cleric, if you need a cleric, and then it'll tell you what zone they're in, what level they are, and et cetera. Yeah. Or type, and then you can send tells to that person, and be like, "Hey, you want a group?" It's not. I mean, I agree with I agree with Duthraka, man. I, I I find it really really irritating about about project looking for group, and I. Yeah. I they're just, I just, I just, just trying to make to tell it easier. People about it. That was a. Oh yeah, I, I'm not, I'm not dissing you on that, man. I'm, right. I'm just saying what I think of it, man. Is, is all I'm saying. It's like and, EverQuest yeah, but, uh, eventually became. They have that LFG where you can go in there and type like what people you're looking for. They are just trying to make it easier. It's the convenience. Yeah, Everybody they, wants that. Instead of, instead of going to a website that you have to go to and say, yeah, I'm looking for group and this is what we have. Well, they're doing it on the website because the people well, who run this server have already said that they're not doing that. They, they don't yeah. want it to be that way. And there's people out there who want it to be easy mode. You know, that's why it's, it's that constant battle between what Slash people want and what you want, you know? Anyway, guys, we're going to go ahead and end it on that note. <laughs> <laughs> let's go ahead and uh, just I'm going to go ahead and um, tell everybody that we've been talking to uh, we've been talking to AC Gamer uh, hey guys thanks for watching definitely appreciate it uh, ZK P99. what's going on what's going on YouTube if you definitely if you like my videos uh, I do a lot of raid footage for Forsaken uh, come check us out I just recently did a video in Oasis and I also did a video on the sleeper when he was awoken and he terrorizes the zones you should both check them both out. Um, they're both really great. Absolutely. And uh, Low King Gaming? I'm here, and I'm great. <laughs> and Dark Dragon. Howdy, people. Download my music. All right, guys. Thank you so much. This is Cypher Deck. Peace out. <laughs>